Greetings. My name is Venkat Raman. I am a physicist by training and profession. And I spent four decades doing all sorts of things from basic research to technology development. It all started way back in the mid-50s in India's premier laboratory, the Bhava Atomic Research Center, located in the city of Mumbai. It was then called Bombay. And uh, towards the end of my career, I was serving as the director of a special laboratory named Anurag, which I had founded myself. Anurag was a part of the Defense Research and Development Organization and at that time it was headed by Dr. Abdul Kalam. In other words, Kalam was my boss at the time of my retirement. Neither of us knew at that time that he was going to become the president of India because who knows what's going to happen in the future. Anyway, as I was about to retire, Dr. Kalam said, why don't you continue for two more years? I said, thank you very much, but I would like to go. He said, go where? He said, I want to go and serve. Now, Kalam being a nice man, he understood what service was and he said, okay, I wish you all the best. Go and do service. Now, why was I bitten by the service bug? That's what I want to explain. It's really connected with a man named Victor Weisskopf. He was born in Austria, he was a very distinguished physicist. And in the mid-30s, he left Europe and went to America, mainly to escape Hitler. During the war, he worked on the atom bomb project and made important contributions. But when he saw the devastation that the atom bombs caused in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Weisskopf was horrified. He was a pacifist and he therefore went back to academics. He was a very good teacher and a scientist. He excelled, he became a distinguished professor. And in one of his lectures to scientists, he made a very important statement. Compassion and knowledge are the two pillars of human society. Knowledge without compassion is inhumane. Whereas, compassion without knowledge is ineffective. The message that comes out of Weisskopf is that unless knowledge and compassion are blended in an appropriate manner, there can be trouble. And that's what exactly happened in the case of the atom bomb, where there was knowledge but no compassion. Now. Why did Weisskopf's words make such a deep impression on me? There's a reason. You see, when I was young, the then Prime Minister of India, Mr. Jawaharlal Nehru, he was the first Prime Minister. He was very passionate about removing the sufferings of the Indian people. And he kept on saying that the only solution to India's problems is science and technology. I believed in that mantra, but as the years went on, I found that science and technology alone could not solve the problems of India. I have seen poverty all my life, both in villages and in cities. And when I was there in Bombay, I lived there for 18 years while working in the Bhava Atomic Research Center. I saw wealth grow but I also saw poverty grow. And I was frustrated because science was not able to do anything. And it was only when I read those wise words of Weisskopf I understood why this was happening. So, when the time came for me to retire, I had to find a way of using my knowledge and combining with compassion. And I found that there was a place where this could be done. And that place was the ashram of Bhagwan Sri Sati Sai Baba. And that's how I found myself in Baba's ashram almost immediately after retirement. I had come to Baba's ashram a few times just before retirement and experience 
a lot of personal attention and love from baba directly i saw he had a way of bringing people to him people with different talents and making them work on his various projects where they could apply their knowledge to a very useful purpose namely service to humanity what about me where did i find my birth i found it in baba's university i was a teacher there and i taught many subjects but more than being a teacher i was also a student i was a student of baba and i learned many things from him many things for example i learned that spirituality and religion don't mean the same thing many people think they are the same they are not in fact spirituality is not only much more than religion it came much earlier it started at the time when humans began to ask themselves all sorts of questions early man looked around and saw that he was enveloped by so many wonderful things strange things powerful things in this universe he knew that there was something out there that was strange mysterious and very powerful as gandhi says there is an indefinable mysterious power that pervades everything we feel it though we cannot see it and the ancients discovered that this power is also within us it is latent in us is the power of pure and selfless love that is the power of the spirit people talk of the human spirit they say how the spirit of man made him go conquer the everest they say how the spirit of man took him to the moon and so on yes it is the human spirit that spurs creativity and great achievements in arts science technology and so forth but there are higher dimensions of the human spirit and if you go to those higher dimensions the spirit reveals itself via virtue noble virtues virtues like compassion kindness humility spirit of sacrifice and so on and all these flow from pure love in other words that pure love is inside every one of us and all we have to do is to tap it but we don't now let me come to the point why am i telling you about all this there is a simple reason very shortly on 23rd november to be more precise people would be celebrating the 85th birthday of bhagwan baba who for all of us at least is the embodiment of pure love as a part of this celebration we in prashanti digital studio plan to present a month long teleserial entitled the message of the lord this serial will essentially expose you to the basics of spirituality and bring to you the message of bhagwan sri satya sai baba in a simple interesting and easily understandable manner it is universal and therefore beyond and above religion it is all about goodness and a way of dealing with problems that confront humanity today let me tell you something about where the serial will be presented and how you can see it it's very simple really the presentation will start from 20th october one episode per day and to see the episode all you have to do is to go to our website www.radiosai.org When you go to the website you will see an icon just click on that icon and the episode will start streaming 
Now in case you were busy on a particular day and could not see the episode streamed on that day, webcast on that day, don't bother. Don't worry. You can see all the old episodes anytime. No ma- you can see them more than once. No matter where you are. All you need is an internet connection and a good computer. As I told you earlier, the world today is facing many problems. For some people, the most difficult and most important problem is conflict and terrorism. Others are worried about climate change. Others are worried about nuclear proliferation. For some, mass poverty is the worst problem and so on. There are problems, plenty of problems. But do you know that solutions also exist? Yes, they do exist. But unfortunately, we don't know about them. Why? Because we have been careless and indifferent. But don't worry. Our serial will tell you about the solutions. And it is because we have been ignoring these solutions that we now find ourselves in a deep, deep hole. But thanks to this solution, we can come out of the ditch. In fact, we have to, otherwise humanity will go over the cliff. So once again, let me remind you, starting 20th October, that is to say very shortly from now, if you log on to our website www.radiosci.org, you can see the month-long teleserial, The Message of the Lord, which discusses all problems that afflict humanity and the way of solving those problems. Actually, the solutions are not all that difficult. And the nice thing about them is they cost much less than what we are spending now in terms of blood and treasure. We are wasting a lot of money and getting nothing for it except pain, suffering and expenditure. Why go through all that? Why not choose the better way which will may help us all live in peace and harmony? So to know all about it, let me remind you, all you have to do is to go to our website, click on the icon and you will know how to solve the world's problems. Happy viewing. Thank you.